everyone. This is my presentation on global health disparities. My name is Ashley Smith. Um, so my health disparity that I chose, which H was HIV, viral hepatitis, and STDs. So it's kind of a combination of those three. Um, so this is important because certain groups are more predisposed than others. Uh, millions of people are affected all over the world. And it can cause severe consequences to health, even death. So it's considered a health disparity because disparity because certain groups are more affected than other groups, and differences such as race, gender, income, education, sexual orientation, and geographical location can affect how people are exposed. Many people of all ages are affected each year, and the numbers continue to rise as these diseases are spread. If left untreated, the patients can become severely ill or even die from these diseases. So the two agencies that I chose were the CDC and WHO. And so first off, I have the CDC. So the CDC closely monitors the amount of people with HIV and releases reports regarding the amount of people who are infected. These reports are published and used to create awareness on the toll of the disease. Their website also provides helpful information on where someone can receive testing to confirm if they have HIV or not. They also provide information on who should be tested more often than others, depending on certain risk factors. Information is also provided on medications that a person can take if they were exposed to HIV to prevent them from contracting that disease. More information is provided on how to prevent exposure as health care workers and what precautions to take while caring for a person with HIV. And there's really no limit to the amount of information provided on the CDC website, and I could spend all day going through all the articles that are listed. The CDC has multiple studies and articles listed available on research that was performed on how to best collaborate with public health services and other organizations to help stop the spread of HIV. The CDC also supplies surveillance reports on viral hepatitis that include the amount of people affected and their demographics, they also have strategic plans on how to fight viral hepatitis, which include information on how to prevent new exposures, improving health outcome for those with viral hepatitis, improving surveillance, and reducing health disparities of those affected. Some of the programs and partners include organizations to help reduce contaminated needles and exposure to hepatitis. The CDC also supplies surveillance reports on STDs and how many people are affected. They initiated a project called CARS that is used to reduce STDs. It is made up of different partners and organizations that help make STD testing available to all, but especially higher risk patients, and helps to identify social issues to best treat each community. Then we have the WHO. Finding information from WHO was a lot more difficult than the CDC, especially on each topic. I was not able to locate um, information on how they were helping with specific diseases such as HIV, viral hepatitis, and STDs. A lot of the information that they had on their website included um, stuff related to COVID and some of the situations in Ukraine. Um, I did find a lot of information on how they work as an organization, which includes guiding medical research to make sure that important health issues are being researched and using that information to help guide policies. Um, who also works to certify medical products to make sure that patients aren't exposed to infections. And then the WHO also helps to improve digital health by making test results available faster so patients know if they are exposed or not and how they can use those tools to identify which patients are more at risk. So when comparing the two, um, the CDC had so much information on each of those topics and you could click on link after link after link and a lot of the information was very specific to each disease process and patients or different um, demographics of patients that are exposed. Um, the WHO, on the other hand, had very broad information on kind of how they work as an organization, but it wasn't specific to each of those disease processes. Um, and then again, the CDC had so much information and resources for each type and each situation that you could just go through and find everything. But the WHO was a lot more difficult to navigate and find their mission and how they are helping specifically with those diseases. So I think the approach for them, I, I really liked the approach for the CDC because I thought that it was very helpful and provided so much information and guidance. 
The approach from the WHO, however, especially off their main webpage, was how to donate money and how they needed help support, but I couldn't really find specific information on what they were doing with that support. So when comparing the two, I would have to say the CDC had a lot more helpful information to help fight these global health disparities. That was my presentation. Thank you.